importing computer hardware and accessories for gaming enthusiasts. Welcome back, gamers! In today's video, we'll be diving into the exciting world of importing computer hardware and accessories for all you gaming enthusiasts out there. Whether you're a professional gamer or just a hobbyist, getting the best gaming gear is essential for an immersive gaming experience. But there's a lot more to it than simply purchasing your dream products. Let's explore the process of importing these items and the role of customs brokerage. When it comes to importing goods into a country, dealing with customs procedures and regulations can be quite complex. This is where customs brokerage becomes crucial. Customs brokers are licensed professionals who act as intermediaries between importers and the government authorities responsible for regulating imports and exports. Their role involves ensuring compliance with customs laws and regulations, calculating and paying the necessary duties and taxes, handling paperwork, and facilitating a smooth and efficient clearance process. Now, if you're planning to import computer hardware and accessories on a regular basis, you might need to consider obtaining a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the government will be paid any duties, taxes, or penalties owed by the importer. It acts as an agreement between the importer, the surety company, which provides the bond, and the customs agency, and is usually required by the customs authorities for commercial importations. In addition to customs brokerage and customs bond, you need to be aware of the Importer Security Filing, or ISF for short. The ISF is a filing that importers or their agents must submit to U.S. Customs and Border Protection before goods are loaded onto a vessel bound for the United States. The goal of the ISF is to enhance cargo security by providing the authorities with advance information about the incoming shipments. It must be filed no later than 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel overseas. Moving on to documentation, there are several key documents you'll need to be familiar with when importing computer hardware and accessories. These include commercial invoices, packing lists, bills of lading, and certificates of origin. Commercial invoices provide details of the seller, buyer, and the goods being shipped, while packing lists describe the contents of each package. Bills of lading act as receipts for the shipped goods, and certificates of origin verify the country of origin for preferential trade purposes. Now that we've covered some essential aspects of importing gaming hardware and accessories, let's discuss a few tips to make the import process smoother. First, it's important to do thorough research on the customs regulations of your importing country. This will help you understand the requirements and avoid any potential issues. Second, partner with a reputable customs brokerage firm. Their expertise and knowledge will greatly assist you in navigating the complexities of importing, ensuring compliance, and minimizing delays. Lastly, maintain clear communication with your chosen customs broker. Provide them with accurate and detailed information about your shipments to facilitate a seamless clearance process. And there you have it, fellow gamers. Importing computer hardware and accessories for your gaming needs involves more than just choosing the right products. It requires an understanding of customs brokerage, customs bond, importer security filing, and international trade documentation. We hope this video has provided valuable insights into the process of importing gaming gear. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming content. Disclaimer note below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy gaming!